Welcome to Do It Yourself Prop Packs. Today I've decided to show you how to make your own battle box. I was just uh, binge watching some episodes on YouTube and decided I could do this myself, just like every other kid who's ever watched Battle Box. Very next thing you want to do is make your own. I had about 20 bucks to blow, so I went to Walmart and I got myself some uh, pre made robots. And uh, get them out of their package here. That was easy. And I'm going to turn them into a epic machine of destruction. Hide your kids. Hide your wives. Hide your pets. as quickly as possible so that I don't have to edit the video too much. You can tell this is going to be a very strong battle bot because I'm using AA batteries instead of Triple A, those weak little triple A's. So you know there's going to be a ton of power. How's this one? There we go. And we'll make sure it works first. It works. Alright, so the remote control works. That's good. Make sure the other one works. Don't want to waste our time. First thing that could happen is you put it all together and realize you bought a piece of junk. Which, uh, considering I bought this at Walmart, that's not too far fetched. Oops. Oops. <laughs> well, that one works too. Next step, we're going to uh, take this vehicle and we're going to tape it to this vehicle. Actually, see it used in uh, the battle box arena that often. I'm not one to uh, shun such an excellent destructive material. All right, so now we're going to take these heavy butter knives.
I'm going to attach these to the spinner majiggies. Make sure your tape doesn't attach to the wrong spot. There we go. And for a little added destructive force, we're going to place another one on here. And now there's a little bit of a problem with the weight, so I'm going to find something to stick on the back there to counterbalance. Alright, I'm going to add this this uh, spoon which is going to essentially be our wedge the back for a little counter Got to make sure the knives aren't uh, affecting, aren't touching the other wheels. Might have to tear those wheels off actually. I'm just going to rip the wheel off of here so it doesn't get in the way. Perfect. Almost perfect. Good enough for now. And there we go. There's our completed battle bot. Let's uh, give that a little test. I guess uh, I may as well tape the controller together too. It'll make it easier to handle. There we go. Now we can both move forward. All right, I'll be right back. We're going to test this out. 
All right, the cats are safely locked away in a room so they don't get hurt. Let's try this out. Mmm, yeah, it's a little uh, top heavy there. Take that, LaCroix. Alright, give it back. Let's see if I can put some more weight on the back. Alright, I was looking for something heavy to duct tape to the back of uh, my battle bot when I realized I can just duct tape the duct tape. So let's try this again. Yeah, take that. It's actually really hard to steer this thing and control the thing at the same time. Take that styrofoam thing. Uh, I think there might be a little too much weight. Honestly, I expected more from a $9 remote control car from Walmart. I just want to see if I can destroy Mount Olive. Take that! In your face! Oh, you want some more? You want some more? <laughs> it's stuck on the door. Defeated by the door. All right, I'm going to go ahead and call that a success. If you want to use my design for your official battle bot on the show Battle Bots, uh, feel free. Just make sure to uh, credit me in, in the name of your machine. All right, thanks for watching. Hope that was informative. Bye.